reduce the powers of eight times sine squared x times cosine squared x. Well, more formally, I think the way we usually state those instructions would be to use the power reducing formulas to rewrite each expression as an equivalent expression that does not contain powers of a trigonometric function greater than one. Informally here, reduce the powers. Well, I'm gonna start by using the power reducing formulas. Now eight's just along for the ride for a moment. Sine squared x is the same thing as one minus cosine of two x over two. And cosine squared is one plus cosine of two x all over two. Two times two is four, of course, and eight divided by four is two. So here early on in the problem, at least I'm rid of some fractions. Well, I still have things being multiplied together. And if I think about how those multiply together, I definitely still have a cosine squared in here. So let's see, I have a two times one, those inside terms cancel, minus cosine squared two x. And I could go on and use a power reducing formula here on that cosine squared, but I kind of want to be sneaky and remember that one minus cosine squared is a sine squared of two x. And that way, well, I just have one less thing to worry about. Sine squared is the same as one minus cosine of this angle doubled would be four x all over two. Those twos cancel and now I'm all done. One minus the cosine of four x, a much simpler expression.